Why do we have no concept or flow of time in the subatomic world within the atoms? By answering this question it could give us deeper understanding of why we have a flow of time in our everyday life with a past and uncertain future. There is a very simple answer to this question and that is in the standard model of particle physics the particles in the center or nucleus of an atom called quarks are locked into the nucleus by the strong nuclear force. But the electron cloud of probability that surrounds the nucleus exchanges particles of electromagnetism called photons. It is this exchange of energy that forms what we see and feel as the flow of time with the future unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moments. Therefore there is no concept of time in the subatomic world within the nucleus of an atom because time is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy relative to the electron clouds of probability that surround the nucleus. The future uncertainty and probability of everyday life starts with this process of energy exchange. This can seem very logical when you think that electromagnetism governs all atomic bonds building every molecule. Take water for example. In flowing water hydrogen bonds are breaking and reforming releasing photon energy with the future unfolding relative to the molecules of the water. This process is relative to the temperature of an individual reference frame. This can be seen when the temperature decreases there is less photon energy for the breaking and reforming of hydrogen bonds. This forms a phase change of matter from flowing fluid to solid in the formation of ice crystals. This process can also be seen in snowflake diversity being due to variations in photon oscillations linked to changes in atmospheric temperature. This forms an infinite variety of snowflake diversity with no two patterns of snowflakes being the same in the world. Another perfect example is photosynthesis with photon energy cascading down from the sun forming the movement of positive and negative charge and this is basically what we are seeing in photosynthesis. We are seeing the future unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling with a movement of positive and negative charge relative to the structure of the plant. This happens when water molecules are split to form positive charged protons in the form of hydrogen ions and the byproduct oxygen that we breathe. If the temperature is increased far enough the atoms will break up forming plasma. The same process will continue with the movement of positive and negative charge over much larger volumes of space. In plasma the elementary charge can be spread over a large scale system of finite volume whose absolute size may range from that of everyday objects up to a star or even a large region of interstellar space. Therefore we have one universal process from the atom to the plasma of interstellar space. This is an artist theory on the physics of time as a physical process called quantum atom theory. This is explained here in much greater detail by the artist himself in his own words. In particle physics, the most fundamental particles are in groups of three, with each one having a part charge. We can never have an individual fundamental particle. If we try and pull one out, we put more energy into the situation that another particle-antiparticle pair is created. Each individual fundamental particle has three quantum states called red, blue and green. This represents the color charge that is continuously changing with each proton and neutron having only one color charge at any given moment. The total charge for the three particles is positive one for a proton and zero for a neutron. Therefore we can think of a stable atom 
as a positively charged nucleus surrounded by a probability cloud of negatively charged electrons. The charge of the electrons is the same size as the charge of the protons but opposite therefore we have a neutral or stable atom. An atom can also be in the form of an ion with more negative charge because it has more electrons or it can have more positive charge because it has more protons. In this way atoms can bond together and undergo chemical change forming the base for modern chemistry and the periodic table of elements. Whenever charged particles interact light photons are exchanged. They have no mass, no electric charge, no weak charge, no color charge. They are the epitome of almost nothing at all. But they have momentum and momentum is a force that is frame dependent therefore we have a process that can form individual reference frames. Light photons are responsible for all the electron and proton interactions. Everything we do in our everyday life from moving a mouse to control our computer to dancing on a dance floor relies on the exchange of photon energy. This energy is shifting and changing electric and magnetic fields. Photons like all particles with no rest mass cannot come to rest therefore the universe is never at absolute zero and there is always the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with photon oscillations or vibrations. So far I have explained this using mainstream physics. Now I am going to explain an objective understanding of this that fits in with the reality of our everyday life with a past that we can never change and a future that is always uncertain and relative to our own actions. This will be done by using an artist theory on the physics of time as a physical process. In this theory the fundamental particles are standing waves in three-dimensional space. Therefore we have the fundamental particles in three quantum states representing three-dimensional space with the separation of charge. The movement of charge is linked to the flow of time in this theory. Whenever charged particles interact photons are exchanged therefore we can say the future is unfolding photon by photon with each new photon electron coupling or dipole moment. No one knows why we have positive and negative charge but the great puzzle can easily be explained in this theory. The movement of positive and negative charge represents different aspects of the same process. We see and feel this process as time with the future unfolding photon by photon with the movement of charge. We see like charge repel representing the expansion of space that can be measured as a period of time. Unlike charge attracts representing the demise of space and time as an object or processes become part of the past and cease to exist. Charge is an innate part of all matter because everything is a process over a period of time. In such a theory it would be logical that at the smallest level we would see charge divided into three parts. Even at the smallest level this is a dynamic interactive process. If we increase the energy we create larger unstable fundamental particles that quickly decay into the smallest. If we try to remove a fundamental particle we create a new particle-antiparticle pair. The universe is a continuum with the continuous annihilation of antimatter representing the past with a potential future relative to our own energy and momentum or actions. In this theory we have free will because we have a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with the flow of positive and negative charge. The wave particle duality of light is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms an interactive process continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. This theory explains a greater reality of one created principle that the laws of physics and mathematics are based upon that is forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with the vibrations of one's own thoughts, efforts and actions. 
This is done by dumbing down consciousness to the level of electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential. By doing this we can place each individual in the centre of their own reference frame as an interactive part of a physical process. The forward momentum of light and what we see and feel as the forward flow of time with the forward conscious stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, perceptions, feelings and emotions that make up our lives are based on one physical interactive process. Therefore each individual is in the centre of their own reference frame in the moment of now as an interactive part of this process, being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. We can think of classical physics as explaining processes over a period of time and quantum physics as explaining time itself as a physical process. Photon energy cascades down forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy and chaos. These photon oscillations or vibrations do not just form greater degrees of freedom for the aging process that we all undergo as time unfolds. They also form greater degrees of freedom for the evolution and diversity of life that has led to the creativity of art, poetry and music. If we think of music as a structure over a period of time then each person dancing to the music will have an uncertain future relative to their position and the energy and momentum of their own actions as the future unfolds photon by photon or moment by moment. At the smallest scale of this process this uncertainty is represented by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the process we see and feel as time. Thanks for watching. As an artist I'm outside the scientific community, so any help you can give in promoting this theory will be gratefully welcomed. Please subscribe, share and rate.